Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a watercolor effect without using watercolors. First, set the fill to none and the stroke to a light pink. If you would like to use the same colors as I'm using, here are the color group values. Next, go to brushes and click on the brush libraries menu. Select the bristle brush then choose the bristle brush library. Now select the mop brush. Let's close both panels. Next press the letter B for the paintbrush tool and create the outlines of a flower. Let's increase the stroke weight to two points. Switch to the paintbrush tool again and add more lines to fill in the shape. Change the color and repeat the process until it looks good to you. Select this dark swatch and let's create a new layer. Now create short paths at the bottom. Select layer 2, then use the up arrow key on your keyboard to move the group up slightly. Next select everything and then go to object and select expand appearance. Let's select layer 1 and create a copy of this shape. Now go to Pathfinder and choose Unite. Let's bring the fill to the front and increase the opacity to about 38%. Next open the gradient panel and select the white and black gradient. Now let's add these colors to our gradient. Click on the white colors tab and while holding down the Alt key select a new color. Click below the gradient slider to add another color stop, then apply a different color. Now repeat this process with the remaining colors. Press the letter G to show the gradient annotator on the screen and adjust its direction. Let's lock layer 2 to prevent it from moving and select everything. Now group it together. With the shape selected, select the other shape as well. Now click on the first shape to mark it as a key object. Next go to the Align window and choose Horizontal Align Center. Select the shape with the gradient and then go to Effect, Stylize and choose Feather. Leave the radius at 8 pixels and then click OK. If you wish, select everything, then go to Recolor Artwork in the tab bar, select Edit and adjust settings such as brightness. Let's unlock layer 2. Now select everything. To better see our shape, go to View and select Hide Edges. Now resize, rotate and position the copy to create your floral composition on the page. If you would like, reflect it vertically. Now create as many copies as you like and repeat the process. Let's create a new layer. Swap the fill and the stroke and choose this dark color. And draw a stem using the curvature tool. Let's move layer 3 below layer 2 and continue drawing additional stems. Adjust the flowers as needed. Select the layer with the stems 
and if you would like, adjust the stroke weight. Let's create a new layer for the background. Swap the fill and the stroke, bring the fill to the front and choose this color. Switch to the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle to cover the artboard. Next, go to object, path, offset path, change the offset to about negative 40, then click OK. Now select the larger rectangle and delete it. Select the remaining rectangle and then go to Effect, Artistic and choose Rough Pastels. Use these settings and then click OK. Next open the Transparency panel and decrease the opacity to about 34%. With the rectangle still selected, go to Effect, Stylize and choose Drop Shadow. Adjust both offsets to 0 pixels and then click OK. Let's create another layer. Select the Type tool and add your text. If you wish to adjust color of the flowers, first lock these layers, select the layer with the flowers, now click on the flower, go to Recolor Artwork, select Edit and rotate the handle to a desired position. If you don't want the stem to show through, First, create a copy of this shape. Go to Swatches, select White for the fill. Next, go to Pathfinder, Unite. Now go to Transparency panel and increase the opacity. Go to Swatches and select the Light Pink. Now select both shapes and align them horizontally to the center. Adjust the position as needed. Next, open the layer with flowers and move the selected shape below the other flower shapes. Adjust the opacity as needed. Let's repeat this process with the other flower as well. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.